welcome to Third Chances, a talk show where we like to hear from people who devoted their life to health, fitness and wellness. Medical professionals, health coaches and all the others who help us every day to cure our body, mind or soul. Those who always look for more natural, holistic ways to help even more people to live a happier and healthier life. Those who don't like to give up easily and settle on you or themselves. It is never too late or too soon. I always believe that every one of us deserves not just a second chance, but as many as we need. I'm Vera, your host. Who better than a master of reinvention with an accent to guide you through it, right? Just like they say, you are not a tree, so move. And God knows I have done just that in my own life many, many times. If you are not completely happy with the direction your life is going, this show may help you get the courage to change what is needed, find a new path and take charge. So come on over, pour yourself a glass of wine and spend some time with us. Let's laugh and cry together and get inspired by people just like you and me who overcame their own doubts and took a leap of faith to reinvent their life on their own terms. I hope and pray that we help you on that journey. And if you feel so compelled and inspired, please let us know. Don't be shy. Who knows? You may just be our next featured guest with another inspiring success story. So here we go. Hello, hello, and welcome to another episode of Three Chances, where we talk to people who devoted their life to health, wellness, fitness, and helping others to achieve the same. And my wonderful guest tonight is Dr. David Silverman. Welcome, welcome. Hi, Vera. Good to be here. Thank you so much for making time for us. I know how mm -hmm. hectic your schedule is, but I really... Just today. Usually, usually it's not. Today is hectic, but it's okay. I know, I know, but you still, you still make time for us, and I really appreciate it. Uh, David and I met when I first was introduced to this wonderful breakthrough uh, that make um, my health issues go away and uh, my friends' health issues go away. Uh, and Dr. Silverman was kind enough to meet with me and my personal trainer, who was very curious about things and had more scientific questions to ask. And so we got together for lunch and David was so generous with his time and answer every question Tom had and I really appreciate it till now we happen to be on your summer break not well winter break actually you yeah. you are you happen to come to the same town in Florida that I live to so that's well, my it was a good it was a good lunch so what am I going to do say no it was good lunch yes it was but you know so I know you work with Asia that I was introduced to now about two years ago uh for over 13 years, 10 years? Yeah, I was introduced to it in December of 2010 by a friend. Okay, I would I would go back to it, but I would first like to ask you, you are originally a doctor, you, you were a podiatry and food surgery specialization. Mm -hmm. uh, that was first thing that you wanted to do from coming out of the school? Was it your first job that you wanted to do? Well, I knew I wanted to be a doctor. At first, when I was a kid, I wanted to be a dentist, and I changed my mind. And wow. in college, I, I because I had I had a lot of foot problems growing up, and I kept going to my primary doctors and to orthopedic doctors, and they just kind of made it better temporarily, and it always would come back. And then I went to a podiatrist. My friend's brother was a podiatrist. I didn't know what a podiatrist was. Yeah. I'm 62 now, so this is quite a way quite a ways ago. Um, and, uh, he said, you what, you want to get rid of this problem for good? And I said, I didn't know I could. And he, and he said, yeah, did it didn't even hurt. And it was like, and it was gone. I was like, wow, a, a person that can give that much relief to somebody. That's really interesting. So I started looking into that and that's when I decided to go in, into podiatry and became board certified in foot surgery. And I own my own practice in Maryland outside of Washington, DC right now. I'm in Delray beach, Florida for the winter. Yeah. Where the winter's almost over, but anyway, that's how I got into it. I, I, yeah. I, the human body fascinates me and I wanted to help people. And, uh, I really did enjoy that chapter of my life. 
and you had your own clinic. So one would think that you were extremely successful. And well, I'm psychologically unemployable. That's the that's my question. Yes, yes. Yeah, why really would know. why would successful doctor look at something else to do when his practice is blooming, right? Well, the major reason was two reasons. One is I felt kind of limited. Um, that's what I wanted to do, and I loved doing it with when I was with patients. But after about five, six years, it was starting to feel like a routine. You know, I'd see the same problems. I was very good at what I did. I was board certified in foot surgery and foot orthopedics. And I treated people conservatively whenever possible and didn't do surgery just to do surgery. Mm. Um, because I've had surgeries myself. And I didn't, I'm like, if you don't need it, don't do it. I always believed in, hey, maybe you can get better without it. And, um, but <clears throat> after about five or six years, I, I was going to two offices. And I mean, again, I'm psychologically unemployable. I, I had my own practice and my own uh, um, ambulatory surgery center. Um, and, and so I was in charge of everything, but that meant everything was on me, right? I, exactly. I yeah. everything, a lot of responsibility, a lot of livelihoods, people working for me, their, their families' livelihoods depended on me, but and that was fine, but it felt like a routine. And, um, I was like, God, do I want to drive around the, the Capitol beltway? That's the big highway around Washington every day for the next 40 years and do this. And so that, and it also, I felt like I, maybe I was meant to do more. Like I, I, I was helping people with foot problems, ankle problems, fractures, gout, all these things, bunions. Um, and maybe, maybe I was meant to do more in this life than, than just that. And I, like I say, I loved what I did. My patients loved me. I went to weddings and bar mitzvahs and baptisms and yeah christenings and I went to all they always you know my patients I mean they I love them and they loved me but I felt like there was more I had more potential and the other big side of it was time freedom yeah um, I had no time freedom um you know they say if you own a, a if, if you own a business that that requires your physical presence, then you don't own the business. The business owns you. You created the expensive job for yourself. Right, right. And in fact, I mean, you know, you don't think of 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 a doctor's practice as a business, but it is. I mean, and it's a practice. It's a yeah. medical practice. But I wanted time freedom. I wanted to to do what I was doing, but I didn't want to have to do it. Like I was. It wasn't like I was looking forward to Mondays. You know, when I started, I was, I was like, oh, I'm going to work. I'm building my practice. And after a yeah. while, I'm like, okay, I got here. And it's like. Achievement wasn't good enough now. You need more. You need well, you know, there's an analogy where um, people say, you know, they spend, they, they, they go to school, they get an education and they're trying to find what they want to do for the rest of their life. Right. Yeah. And you're kind of leaning a ladder up against a building and you're climbing and you want to get to the top. Right. And it, as a doctor, it's a lot of climbing. I mean, it's undergrad, it's 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 medical school or podiatric medical school, it's residency, it's board certification, it's mm -hmm. it's opening up your own practice if that's what you want to do, taking out a loan, doing all that. You're climbing, and then you know, like I say, after a few years, I'm like, hey, I'm at the top, and then you, some you get to the top and you look out, you stand on top of this giant building, and you look out, and you're like. Well, I, maybe I had the ladder leaning against the wrong building. Is that it? Yeah. <laughs> right. And, yeah, and, yeah. and so that's why I started feeling. And so when you say, why would someone leave their practice? Those are the reasons. Thank God I found a way to make much more of a difference in this world that, than just broken ankles and bunions. What, yeah. what I do now, number one, it's, it's much more impactful in this world. I not only, not only, what I'm doing for people with this product, but the fact that I can do it anywhere. Like when I practice, it had to be in, in the Washington, D.C., Maryland area. Here I can help someone in Virginia, California, Hong Kong, uh, Lisbon, a a anywhere in the world. The impact was limited for you. Yeah. It, right, yeah. very. And I can teach anyone to do it. Like you do it. You know, you don't have to be a doctor to do this. I can teach a, a school teacher, an Uber driver, um, uh, anybody to do, do this because it's such a simple product to get benefit from that. And there's no risk to it. It can't hurt anybody. So it's so easy. So between making, wanting to make more of a difference and having residual income, 
so that I'd have time freedom. So money would be coming whether I was working or not. So if I wanted to go travel with my wife or, or God forbid, something happened to someone in my family and I had to take two weeks off, I wouldn't have to shut down my practice and worry about, about bills and everything else. The money would just come. And, you know, when you make money while you sleep, it gives you, making money gives you choices. Money doesn't make you happy, right? But it gives you choices. You can buy organic food. You don't have to worry about buying a last minute airline ticket to see someone who's sick. Mm. You can, you know, you 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 have choices with money, uh, but when you have time, freedom and money, it really gives you a lot of choices. And that that's what I, that's why I love what we're doing now. I was, I was going to ask you when you decide to that kind of, that's it and looking for something else at that time back then, did, was it the time you already have children? Um, so that, yes, it was, we were just about to have, well, I was starting to work on some inventions. I had some inventions like for, for foot problems and that's a long road doing that. Um, yeah. but I was working on those things. I started practicing in 88. Um, I was what, 28 years old. I'm 62 now. Uh, I'd say probably, probably about 93, we had our first child and that's one of the reasons I wanted time freedom. It's yeah. like, I didn't want to be the father who you'd see on TV, like going to work and then coming home and, 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 you know, having a, having a dinner and going to bed and the, the kids don't even know the father. Yeah. I, I didn't want that. So I had been trying to work on some of those things. Mm -hmm. And then um, I got introduced to this business model that we're going to talk about in a minute. Um, it, it, right. When the, <laughs> my wife was about to give birth with her third child when I got introduced to this whole world of network marketing. And yeah. um, that was in 96. But that was originally something else that you started with, right? Yeah, I, 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 a medical rep had brought this to me and um, I, I had never, you know, I, I was ignorant about network marketing, um, which in a way was good, I guess, for several reasons. But the, the whole concept fascinated me that, you know, you have products and services that are just instead of money going to advertisers and spokespeople like, you know, Michael Jordan or whoever else, you know, and, and, and all the money that would go there goes to the people who are sharing. So you, you find out about something, you share it with people. Um, and every time they order it, you get paid for that. And then the ripple goes out, out, out. So I fell in love with it. First company, I was in it for six months, went to one of their big meetings and it was it wasn't a product that really helped people. It was a telecom service thing, but I liked the concept. Yeah. And I went to the first big rah rah meeting, and that's what it was. And I, I got nauseous. I was like, "This is not for me. This, these are just people that all they're talking about is making money and getting free cars, and yeah. and they it wasn't anything about helping anybody. And that wasn't me. So I quit. I said, "I'm not network marketing is not for me." So you, it's funny. Your, your your thing is called third chances, right? Yeah. So um, then, um, I don't know, a few months later, my mother had a really bad, bad pain problem with her back and leg. And it was a weird thing, not normal thing mm -hmm. that, that people get. And nothing really helped. And a friend of mine who was another podiatrist said, hey, have you tried using magnets? I've been using these things. They work. I'm like, magnets? Why, why would I use magnets? Kind of bright in here. Sun's coming in. I live on a golf course here. It's bright. Um so I tried the magnets with my mom and it worked. And I thought placebo, 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 tried it on several patients. About half of them got some pretty good results. Then I tried it on a limping dog that had arthritis. And I said, look, if the dog stops limping, it's not because I, I was beginning to think I could put my name behind this. I could get excited about this yeah. business if I knew it was real. Well, right. the dog stopped limping in about 15 minutes. And I said, OK, no one can tell me this is a placebo. The yeah. dog stopped limping. <laughs> So I got involved with that business, mm -hmm. loved it. Great products, help people, amazing. And um, about a little over two years into it, I was making a lot of money and I sold my practice. Mm -hmm. Now, looking back, okay, that was a mistake. And I'll tell you why. I went to the top of that company. I was called a Royal Diamond. Um, but the income was kind of like it was doing this. It was starting to, I was working really hard all the time, no time freedom. And then it was steady. And then it was just starting to drop. And then I started noticing things with the people running the company. And I realized that they were not good people. And I made a huge error. 
I mean, I, I put my family in jeopardy. I sold my practice because I thought, oh, I believed what they were saying, that they were good people. I believed all of it. And the product yeah. was also believable for you. Yes. Oh, yeah. and and so um, eventually I, I, I stopped. I just could, I, I believed in the product, but I didn't believe in the opportunity. And in network marketing, you got to be really, you got a strong belief in the product and the opportunity and trust the people running the company. So I stopped. And the residual income kind of dropped and dropped. And I did something that I didn't want to do. I got a job as a, as a health consultant. And I mean, it was good money, but I was answering to somebody and it was like, I was not happy, mm-hmm. but I, I, I had responsibilities. So I did it. And, and that's when I, we can get to it, but that's when this entered my life. I was doing that for about three or four years. And in December of 2010, my friend Debbie brought me this and and I was I only investigated only because my dad was sick I, sick I didn't want to I wasn't looking at the business I said fool me once right. you know <laughs> shame on you fool me twice uh, shame on me I'm like I'm not fooling three times I'm out of network marketing the first one was rah rah the second one was liars and I'm like that's a bad industry I'm not doing it but so the, I did look at this because my dad had a grave issue that that no one wants to hear they have in any part of their body, whether it's their prostate or their breast or their lungs. So I investigated it for him. And, and that was the beginning of my journey. I didn't look at the business side of this till a year later. And my dad's fine today, actually. Isn't it fascinating that doctors have such a great education, but they are so skeptical to anything that is kind of outside of their lane as an alternative, so-called alternative approach when it is the most natural approach to, to go. Yeah. But we're, we're, we're tra- I mean, I was part of that. We're trained and, and look, <clears throat> thank God for Western medicine. I mean, yeah, yeah. It, it's, it's amazing, but for, for chronic problems to, to just make a diet, be tra- trained doctors to make a diagnosis and write the prescription. You know, your, your cholesterol is high. Take this for the rest of your life. You got depression, take this for the rest of your life. High blood pressure, take this for the rest of your life. Eczema, put steroids on. on. And it's just a, it's a, it's, it's, it, doctors are not stupid. Doctors are smart, yeah. but they're ignorant. I mean, everybody's ignorant. The smart, Einstein was ignorant about things. I mean, everybody's ignorant about things. Fortunately, with this product, that anybody who wants to prove that it's real or try to disprove that it's real, mm-hmm. it, I, there's a guaranteed way for them to know that it's real in 10 minutes. Now, will someone take the time to take 10 minutes to do it? I don't know, but it's not much to ask. And <clears throat> what I find, Vera, is with doctors and medical people that are not yet out of the box, many of them are now, but a lot are still just kind of like just tunnel vision into the whole thing is I love, I love doing that. When I do, we can talk about it, but when I say you do this, you do this on 10 people and just do it for 10 minutes. And you tell me what happens to nine out of 10 of them. And they call me and they say, my God, how can something that's made from salt and water do that? And very often this is the shift. People say, this sounds too good to be true. If it was real, we would know about it. You're talking about breathing, skin, things that hurt, vision, all these things, blood sugar. How can one thing have an impact on all that? Too good to be true. Network marketing. Thanks anyway. Not interested. Yeah. Right. So they say, if it was this good, if it was this good, we would know about it. Then they they do the 10 minute test. Then the, the question goes from, if it was this good, we would know about it. It goes to, my God. Why don't we know about this? Yeah. And then they start really <laughs> digging into it. Doctors start really digging into the science. When they dig into the science before they experience it, they could find flaws. They could find this. They can. But once someone's had an experience, they're like, holy cow. Like nobody can tell me I didn't just see that happen with my own eyes or didn't feel it myself. Yeah. So it's uh, that's what I love about it. I can open a closed mind in 10 minutes. If the closed mind says prove it, it's easy to prove it. So let's. Let's jump into, let's talk about what we are talking about. What is that salt water? If you, if you mind to take a few yeah, minutes to yeah. just, for somebody so, who never heard of it, uh, what are we talking about? We'll, we'll keep it brief because I know that the, the, this conversation is not just about this, but yes. it's a breakthrough. It is something that that's never been seen before. It's not a medicine. It's not a pharmaceutical. It's not a nutritional. It's different. It's something that's inside of us. It's called redox signaling molecules made from saline 
Now, this is patented. There's intellectual property on this. It's not reverse engineerable. They're double blind studies, placebo. It's, it's made from salt and water, right? But our cells make it. We make it in our mitochondria. <clears throat> and there are books that are that are complicated books to read. There are simple books to read on this. Redox, R-E-D-O-X, stands for reductant and oxidant. <clears throat> the thing is, we make it in our mitochondria, but at puberty, we start producing less. So up until puberty, we were producing a ton of it because our mitochondria are pumping it out, just like it pumps out what's called ATP. Mm -hmm. But at puberty, we start to produce less, less in our 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s. And you see what happens to people as they get older, right? Outside, they wrinkle. This works for wrinkles. Inside, they start having problems with their joints, with their hormones, with blood sugar, with mood, with blood vessels, with heart, with liver, with kidney, with breast. All of these things get worse as we get older. And it starts at puberty and people say, well, we don't, we're not a 20 year old is just as healthy as a 10 year old. Not true. 20 year old might seem stronger and faster and maybe more capable, but there's something that the 10 year old has that the 20 year old doesn't. And what that is, is the ability to heal faster, right? A 10 year old falls off their bicycle, gets hit by a car and bangs their head on the street and it breaks a leg. They have surgery, they heal. At 20 years old, they'll probably heal, but they will not heal as quickly. I used to operate on children. They heal fast, okay? But then the accident happens at 50, bangs their head, breaks their leg, could be in physical therapy for a couple of years, might die, ringing in the ears. Same accident happens at 85, the, 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 the child, the child, the, the man or woman is probably going to die, either on the street from banging their head from a brain bleed or the anesthetic is going to kill them, or they'll get pneumonia, or they get blood clots, the bone won't heal, and it corresponds to producing less and less of this. So they found a way to make these redox signaling molecules outside the body, and it's as safe as water, different than a drug. Can't be allergic to it, no toxicity, no, you can't overdose on it, and it doesn't interfere with medications. So when you're young, you produce a lot. And what it does is it amplifies signaling and makes it so all the cells can hear what's going on. So this, your, your immune system can hear when you have a problem every, because the body can't take care of problems unless it knows there's a problem, yeah. right? And it, this amplifies signaling in the body. So when you're, when you're young, you fall off your bicycle, the signal's loud, help, help, help. The body heals itself. You know, when you're 30, you don't have as much. So the signal for help isn't help, help. It's help, help. When you're 80, it's help, help, help. This amplifies signaling. Um, and that's the simplest way to explain it. Um, that's the explanation why it works on so many different issues. Well, we can't even say it works on issues because we can't make claims that it works on anything because this technology is so powerful that uh, originally the founders of the company were going to sell it to a pharmaceutical company in 2007 to make a lot of money. And the pharmaceutical company from New Jersey came out to Utah. They looked in Park City they, they looked at all the data, they looked at all the validations at universities, and they said, my God, you did this. We didn't think anybody would ever make redox signaling molecules outside the body. We'll buy it, patents, intellectual property, and you need to shut down. And the founders of the, com founders of the company said, well, okay, but what about the people who are on the product and, and what's the plan to bring it to market? And they said, well, the, the people that are on the product, they'll find something else. And, and we're, we're buying it. We'll take care of bringing it to market. And that's when they knew that the pharmaceutical company wanted it for one reason, to just make it go away. And if, if you're out of the box, if your listeners, any of them already know this is true, and it is true, and it's not a, this, is not a, this is not a theory, pharmaceutical companies need one thing, no matter what, to make money. They need sick people. Yes. And they don't want things on the market that that help keep people well. They scared the hell out of people for decades with CBD, you know, and they propaganda and they wanted it to bury it. And that's when the founders of the company said, we can't sell this. Yeah. If we sell it and just take the money and walk away, you know, they knew what it did. Like I know what it does. If you knew something they had the ability to do what this does for people. And you've seen it over and over again. How, how could you take a chance on, on letting go of it and having someone who 
One day they'd probably bring it out when the drug era is over, but they want people on drugs. So they decided on network marketing. And uh, the that's, and so when I, just real quickly, when I saw what my, the changes in my dad, um, I referred people to my friend, Debbie, who brought this to me because I didn't want to get involved. I'm like, I'm not doing network marketing. And she's like, this is not, this is not like your typical multi-level marketing company. It's a biotech company that shows this method of distribution because they, there's no, it needs some handholding. You, you, people yeah. just don't start, you know, you need some handholding on usage. It's simple, but handholding. And also what we are trained to do to turn around to look at the label and see the ingredients and where's the miracle ingredients in this, right? Yeah. And it's made, and it says ingredients, salt and water. So yeah. I, I put a, a little link tree site together with none of my contact information on there, but there's a, one of the that says, why is it made from salt water? And also the story of the genesis of this company. And it's at gettingyoungerclub.com, gettingyoungerclub.com. Just good basic information. I'd recommend if anybody looks at this, they absolutely call you to get, get the straight information because it's produced in an FDA registered production facility. You want to get it through an actual distributor, a rep. You don't want to just get it from eBay or something that's counterfeit product and expired product. But anyway, what, what happened was I referred people to Debbie. And over weeks and months, they kept coming back to me saying, thank you, thank you. Not the same issue as my dad. People with blood sugar issues, skin issues, breathing issues, sleeping issues, mood issues, all kinds of things. And every time somebody came back and said, thank you, I kept sending more people to Debbie. Well, after enough time, there were so many things happening. Like people said skin things fell off of them, uh, that skin lesions have been there for years. And I said, this is not a placebo. I said, I love network marketing, the concept, but I got burned twice. And my wife was like, you're never doing that again. I'm like, I know I'm not doing it again. Well, I was getting curious and I was listening to conference calls and things. So finally, I got on a plane and I flew out to um, uh, Park City, Utah. And I, I wanted to meet the people who started the company. I wanted to see the FDA registered production facility. I wanted to feel the people because last time I didn't really get to know them until about a year in. And I was yeah. like, oh, man, it, it, these are just money rubbing people. Yeah. But when I went out to, to Park City, I, I, I'm i sitting around with the founders, the president and the CEO. And there was a point we're sitting around the table and we were all crying, all of us. And, and I realized you, you, you can't fake that. I mean, one person could fake crying, but we're all sitting there like, like literally in tears. And, and I realized that moment that that was the final piece of the puzzle for me to put my reputation on the line and my family's welfare on the line to get involved. So I kept the other, the other job and I just, I built this up to a certain point. I knew where, where I was going to be because I knew what the product did and I knew it was just Tell people, they'll tell people, they'll tell people. And then about, uh, I forgot how long before, it's it two or th two years? Two years, I, I quit the other job and it's just been a joy. So now I'm on the medical board of the company, which is a volunteer position. A C is the company. Where am I? This side. This yeah. side. Yeah. <laughs> my, my vision, is my, my, yeah. near, my picture is backwards. Yeah. And um, that's a volunteer position, but I'm an ambassador, triple diamond with the company. I was business builder of the year. I was mentor of the year. And, but most importantly, Vera, I am just so passionate about making people aware of this. And some people are open-minded to it. I think you were pretty open. Um, some people are really closed. And then they come to me when it's crisis time. Something horrible happens and they they know what I do. They're like, do you, David, do you think this could help? Because they're desperate. And I'm Yeah, let's, let's see. And, and then they're like, my God, thank you. But I'm like, people shouldn't wait till there's a crisis because when people get a diagnosis of something going on, it didn't just start then. It was brewing for a long time. It, it started with one cell that was bad or, or damaged. And, and that's what this does. This helps the body here when there are cells that are not normal or they're damaged or they need to be replaced. And some people look at it because they just want to look younger because it rejuvenates your skin. Some just want more energy. Some people want to sleep better. Some people have kids on the spectrum. They're like, can this help? Or they have a dog because it's in animals too. Older dogs aren't as healthy as puppies, right? Um, we also it, have athletes on it that just want to perform better and right. recover from hard workouts. Fast. There's that whole, there's that whole bonus too. Uh, yeah. I mean, I'm 62. I feel like I'm 26. Yeah. Now I'm not an athlete. Okay. I go to the gym 
three times a week for 20 minutes. I don't, I, and I walk my dog. I don't do anything really aerobic. I, I should, I walk golf. my dog, right? You play a lot I, of golf. I golf. I golf and I ride a cart, but a lot of times I play pretty much every day. And sometimes I'll play twice and I don't take medications. Um, and I, I, is the fact that I take no medications at 62 and feel like I'm 26, is that, is that all of this? And we can talk about the gel version of it because we don't want to forget that because uh, this is the topical version. You put it on your skin. This is when you drink. Um, there's one thing I know it's because of this. When I was in my 30s, I would play golf. I would take ibuprofen. Uh, my back would hurt. I mean, almost every time. I play once a week. Well, I play every day now. Yeah. I haven't taken ibuprofen in years. So I, I think I pretty much can attribute that to, to using this. Um, but it's remarkable. By the way, I guess we go ahead and say it right now, right? About this, should we tell them? Oh, absolutely, yes. All right. So this is Renew 28. This is the drink in a gel form. And it's marketed to help rejuvenate skin cells. And it works for, for, for that, for wrinkles and texture. It's all proven. Um, it actually works for cellulite too, but it's clear. That's proven too. There's no smell. I'm putting it on my face because that's what you do with it, right? You can, I put it all over my body because I'm in the sun all the time. You can see I golf. Look at the color of my arm. <laughs> um, remember I said we talked about proving it to yourself in 10 minutes. Well, so the product's safe, right? It comes with a money back guarantee for 30 days. It can't hurt you in any way. Anyway, um, so it's plenty of time to test this. So when people drink this product, this, they baseline everything in their health, energy, sleep, mood, breathing problems, nerve problems, everything. And they just start drinking it. And you know, you'll know, you give them instructions on how to do that. And um, they track their progress, 30 day money back guarantee. I can only get about 60% of people by the 30 days to say, wow, the liquid's amazing. This changed my life. 60%, at least 40% that say, I don't know yet. That's why you want to do it for 90 days. But the gel, when people get it, what they do is, and if they're, they want to validate it for their own edification. If they want to validate it before they recommend it to people, if they want to validate it before they get involved in the opportunity, the ones who say, hey, if this is real and it's a breakthrough and it's patent protected and intellectually uh, intellectual property, I want to know about it before everybody else. I want to be at the beginning of something. Even though the company's 13 years old, they've only did about $200 million last year. It's not big yet. They, about $1.2 billion altogether. Mm -hmm. They love this. So they find a few people that have a problem and they're going to do a 10-minute test on that problem. And that problem, not everybody has this problem, but a lot of people do. Some people have it mildly and some people have it agonizingly severe. And that problem isn't wrinkles. It's things that hurt. So their fingers could hurt. Their neck could hurt. Their back could hurt. Their knee could hurt. Cramp in their abdomen could hurt certain time of the month for women, whatever. And this is the test. It's the 10 minute test. We call it three times in five minutes. What do they do? They rate their discomfort level. If it's their neck on a scale of one to 10, right? If it's their hand, well, that's a one or they can't even close it. Oh, that's that's a eight. And they if they can't close it, take a picture of how far they can go, right? Also, if their shoulder is, eh, it's a two or oh, it's a 10, I can't get past here. So they're getting a baseline because they're going to re retest in 10 minutes. And in the first five minutes, they shake up the gel and they apply it three times to the area in five minutes. So they put it on, it dries, they put it on dries they put it on it dries it's not greasy it's not smelly nothing and at 10 minutes that skeptical person whether it's a doctor a nurse an uber driver um a, a, a wallpaper hanger it doesn't matter they do it on 10 people and at 10 minutes they ask them how they feel they they see what nine of the 10 people tell them not two or three not four or five on average, nine out of 10 people and, and the nine of those 10 people say, how did it do that? How did it, how did something made from salt and water do that? And they realize this is a breakthrough. They realize it's a breakthrough. They realize that it's not just salt water, that it's made from salt water and at gettingyoungerclub.com, they can see that video on that. Um, 
they realize that if they haven't seen results with this in 30 days, they're going the 90 days and they're taking it properly. They're going to take it properly because they've seen validation that it's real. You go online, people say it's just salt water. You put this on 10 people and listen to what nine people tell you. You know it's not salt water. And they can be closed-minded cynics. I don't care. The, the I, most closed-minded person that says, I can't lift my shoulder past here, but this is ridiculous. This is salt water. Okay, bear with me. Just put it on there pretty liberally three times in five minutes. 10 negative people like that, okay? Still, if they're honest, you're right? If they gotta be honest, they can't say, oh gee, that's no better. Well, sometimes they will. They were here, they were an eight, right? They went to here, it's an eight. Then they go 10 minutes later, no, it's still an eight. I'm like, well, wait a minute. It was an eight here. Now it's an eight here. Mm -hmm. Oh, because some people are just so closed-minded. They're not open to it. And they also realize that it's easy for anybody to, to prove this is real. And it's all they also realize that it's just a matter of time before the, the lid blows off this thing. And it's just going to become as, as, as mainstream as, as anything. I mean, no one's ever heard of redox molecules, right? 200 years ago, if someone said they invented a thermos that would keep stuff cold, I put water and ice in here last night. It's still full of ice and water and the lid was off of it. They're like, oh, a thermos 200 years ago. No one would believe that. Yeah. Now we all know it's true. It's just a thermos. We know what it does. We, we know what this does. I don't know how it works, but I, I know that it works. Who would have believed this 100 years ago? Oh, and right. that's what's going to happen with this. It's going to come mainstream. hundred years ago, I remember me being at the grammar school and we were talking about what will happen in the year 2000. Yeah, and right. I grew right. up in communism. Not everybody had a phone. It was quite a luxury to have a phone line at home. Even a and wired we, phone, right? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about, landline. And yeah. I remember being told, well... At the year 2000, we will have, we will be able to call anybody in the world. At the same time, you will be talking to them. You can see them in a picture. And we were like, yeah, right. Because you didn't even have a phone, not to mention cell phone, not to mention what it is capable of doing today. It's true. It's such a it, true. It's true. Yeah. And, and so, when something sounds too good to be true, often people <clears throat> will dismiss it. Even if I someone that they trust is bringing it to them. And I think the big reason is because people look at Google as a research engine, yes. not a search engine. And you go to Google, you find amazing things about this product, but you'll see people saying it's expensive salt water and this and that. And, and I'm like, they can say whatever they want. If your knee hurts you or your back hurts you or you don't sleep, you, you can dismiss it. But here's a product that can't hurt you. I mean, every medicine has can hurt you. In fact, every medicine it will kill you if you take too much of it. Take too much aspirin, it'll kill you. Every medicine has what's called an LD50, lethal dose 50. That means at what dosage did this drug kill 50% of the lab rats? There's a dosage that kills 50% of the lab rats. There's a dosage that'll kill 100%. There's doses that kills 100% of lab rats. There's a dosage that'll kill 100% of humans. This is not a medicine. It's not metabolized by the liver. So it is so outside the box that people look at Google and they say, oh, no, no, network marketing, because I had a bad taste about network marketing. Yeah, yeah. If my dad wasn't sick, I probably wouldn't have looked at it. But my dad had a grave issue, so I, I decided to look into it. And what does your life looks now looks like now after 10, 12 years? Oh, God. Well, it, it, it was dramatically different in three years. Um, there's some good videos at gettingyoungerclub.com on that. Um, just total freedom. I mean, I don't have to do this anymore. I, I love it. I'm one of the top earners in the company. I'm not the top earner. I'm the top earning doctor, I think in the company, but, um, it, it, I, I don't, I don't have to do this anymore. I love doing this. I love this. I love, it's why I went into to medicine. I love helping people. Um, and, and I love giving people hope. There are a lot of people that have given up hope. You know, whether it's the joint problems or their sleeping problems or their they can't have babies or their child's on the spectrum and they've given up hope having a good life and, and thinking, oh, I'm just going to have to live on Social Security. I wonder if Social Feeling Security. like they tried yeah. everything and it didn't work. Yeah. I mean, it's it, there's something here for everybody. And someone just has to say, be open enough to say, hey, I don't know if I believe it yet, but I've got a problem. 
This is as safe as water. And it's a money back guarantee. What do I have to lose to try it? And I, I just, 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 it's incredible. And you know, what's kind of cool is the people that I'm involved with, like you, it's positive people. There's enough negative people out there in the world. And when you know about something that every that's so good for people that nobody else really knows about, it's a fun community. And they, the company has fun trips. They just had one to Mexico. We went to Bora Bora. We, I mean, I as a podiatrist, I, I wouldn't have taken 10 days out of my practice to go to, to Bora Bora, to the Four Seasons, living on those huts out on the water. Um, I wouldn't have taken time to do that. I, I, I also uh, saw you driving some pretty cool cars in Monte Carlo. In Monaco. And then there was a trip <laughs> to Paris and Monaco. And we were in Ireland on another trip. And we were in Costa Rica on another trip. We were in Hawaii several times. These are just icing on the cake bonuses the company gives you for creating this ripple effect. Yeah. And I'm telling you, social media people are starting to get involved. And the awareness of this is going to start coming out. And it's going to make it easier for everybody else because people are going to see it somewhere else. So when you start, most people start, you know, they sign up, they get the product. They're like, okay, I believe in it. They either refer people to their friend like I did to Debbie, or they say, hey, I, I want a better life. Mm -hmm. I, I want residual income. You know, I want to, we, we have a, there's a Zoom every Thursday night. It's how to become a thousand air. And people say, well, what's the big deal about being a thousand air? I want to be a millionaire. Well, if that, most people with thousand air means you're making a thousand dollars a month while you're sleeping. And that changes a lot of people's lives to make an extra $12,000 a year, especially when it's not like you have to go drive an Uber to make it. It's like, it's just this ripple effect has, has happened. So, um, and I also like the concept because when people are in deep trouble financially, and somebody starts flashing lights and it's like, become a millionaire in 30 days or in a year. It just so it just sounds so out of whack that you don't even look at it. Thousandaire is much more relatable. And it doesn't mean that you're gonna stay there. It doesn't well, mean that that's where you that's where the limit is. Right. I mean, look, you know, people when they get people get to a thousand dollars a month, they're like, well, gosh. I got here. This is this this got me out of debt. I, I whatever whatever it is, whatever they they want. You know, like if I got here and there are people doing five thousand a month, then I they have belief in themselves now, and they have a team helping them. Like let's do it. I want to get to that point. I want to get to that point. And people would say, well, how does it work? How does that happen? Well, if you're an associate in any network marketing company, I'm just talking about this one, yeah. and you you make ten people aware of this, ten people you know. You know, I was going to say, how do you impact a million people? Nobody knows a million people, yeah. but you impact 10. And those 10 people are happy. They're like, this is great. And they're like, hey, I want to help some people. And they each do what you did. 10 people each. Well, that's 100. And the company pays your pay. Every time product is ordered, the company pays you for that. They order over and over and every month. Because right? the money that would go to advertisers goes to us. Mm -hmm. But what if those 100 people did exactly what you did? And your 10 people did. Those 100 told 10 people they know, wherever they are in the world. Well, this company's in 34 countries, right? Well, that's 1,000 people. Now, the 1,000, they're not teaching a million. They each help 10, as an example. Yeah. It's 10,000, 100,000, a million. That's the power of network marketing. But when you, when, you, when you pair it with a breakthrough product that is probably the greatest breakthrough in the history of health, and people say, oh, that's silly. It's not silly. People say penicillin is. No, penicillin was a massive breakthrough. Funny too, because who believed bread mold would save people's lives? But yeah. that's what it is, bread mold. Right. But that's focused on infection. This is focused on the whole body staying younger. I don't care the history of time, whether it was a pauper or the pharaoh of Egypt. Everybody got to a point in their life, if they live long enough, they said, I wish I was younger. They could see it. They could feel it. They, they to have that ability. The only thing that's as big of a breakthrough as this, I think, Vera is stem cells. Stem cells is a massive breakthrough, but it's very expensive. You might do it; it may not work at all. There's no guarantees on anything. You pay your five thousand dollars, your ten thousand dollars, and you pay it. And if it works, great. If it doesn't, sorry, we tried. Right? Yeah. This is accessible by anybody. And if someone can't afford it, that what it, what it costs one hundred and thirty dollars a month or whatever it is. 
then there's a built-in mechanism where they can get it for free. Because if they're an associate versus a customer, company does everything. All we do is tell people about it. They give you websites and we have Zooms that we do direct to educate people. Every You educate a few people you know about this and they're like, wow, I want this. They get it through you. Every time they get it, you get paid and that gives you more than enough money to pay for your own product and your family's product. So I love that part of it to empower people to take control of their health. That's actually how I started because you said that I was pretty open-minded. I was very skeptical because I have been in natural healing space through food and everything else. I knew a lot about nutrition, but when I was introduced to it, it's just like everybody, we we want to be the smarter one. Like we like, oh, that's ridiculous. That's just can't work. And but I heard about issue because you know Bob that introduced me to the company. He was telling me about his shoulder issues. And I had my problem with, with shoulder on and off for 15 years. I'm like, yeah, right. I have, you know, injections in it. And I was like, no way this can help. But I ordered it. I was willing to try. And I ordered it. And I remember I was in my bed, sitting, watching TV. I put an alarm clock in my cell phone to to count the five minutes to make sure that I'm doing it properly. I put it, both of my shoulders were kind of screwed up, you know? So I was like, let's try it on first one. So I tried it on my left one that wasn't hurting as much. Uh, and within 10 minutes, I had full motion. And yeah. I'm like, whoa. And then I tried it on my right one. And three days later, I'm calling Bob back and I'm like, who am I kidding? I want to sell this. This is amazing. I know. It's, 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 it's so true. easy. Yeah. It's so easy. It doesn't, ha doesn't happen to everybody. Absolutely. And everybody yeah. goes to full range of motion, but yeah. you put it on 10 people and you baseline them. I know damn well what you're going to see happen to nine out of 10 people. Yeah. And, yeah. and it, it, it makes people's jaws drop. And isn't it interesting? I once heard Dr. Hoffman saying the pain clinics that you go to for, you know, for, for injections, whatever, if they have 50% success, that's like big success. Yeah. Yeah. This, uh, that's why I say this is, and that's the tip of the iceberg. This is a massive breakthrough for humanity. It's just that it's strange. It comes in a little blue bottle and it comes in a little white tube and it's made from salt and water. So people are like, well, what's, what's that guy? You know, why can't I just mix salt and water? It's not salt and water. In fact, at that, that gettingyoungerclub.com, there is a video just for that. You know, there's some very interesting specific videos. And there's also a site that they should reach out to you, um, uh, Vera. There's a site that says, what about my issue? So people are saying, well, I got a blood sugar issue. I got a breathing issue. I got bitten by a tick. I've got a mood problem. I have a kidney problem. I have hormone problem. There is a there is a link there that needs a password. And I, I'd say they should call you to get the password. Yes. And I love that because yeah. people that have problems, they want to know, has anybody seen anything, any results with this? And that's a really, really powerful link there at that site, gettingyoungerclub.com. And I want to thank you because you spent so much time in giving us resources and answering the most common questions that people may have. And it's so easy for me to reach out and, and show them video of you where you explaining the issue because you have been working with it for a long time. You have seen lives changed. You have seen uh, people getting better. And the number one source of stress, me included, is health and finances. 100%. And it possibly improves both. Yeah, I, lo I love that there's something for everybody, you know, and in fact, at gettingyoungerclub.com, the very first video at the top is kind of pulsating. It's a six minute video and it's pulsating. And I always recommend people watch that first because people to, to, to investigate something, if someone's not really open minded and doesn't make sense, if, if, it, if they're not that way, if they're not really open minded, then something's going to have to motivate them to investigate this properly. And generally what will, what will motivate them to do it properly and not just Google is if they have a problem for them or someone they love and they want to see if this could be a possible solution to a problem, an unsolved problem. Yeah. Right? And, and sometimes people are taking, you know, they have joint problems or taking medications. Now I take my, my naprosyn, and my ibuprofen. I'm fine. I'm like, well, did, did you ever notice what it says on the packaging? What? 
that you're not supposed to take it for more than two weeks because it increases your chance of heart attack and stroke by 25%. What, ibuprofen does that? Yeah, it does. All the non steroidal anti-inflammatories do, and it's damaging your kidney. Or I take I, I take acetaminophen all the time. Do you know what that does to your liver? So if they don't feel it causing a problem, they're like, nah. sometimes they're like, ah, some people are like, I'm taking it because I have no other choices. I don't, I, I, I don't want surgery. You know, I, I just got to, I got to work because they don't know that they have options and you do have options. And that's why that first video at gettingyoungerclub.com is good for them to watch so they can identify which of those six problems, it's just a six minute video, which of those six problems is their problem, which, and then I say, get back to the person who introduced this to you and say, I'm interested in reason number two and reason number four. And that's it. That's all I want. And then we, you, you, there, you do this really well. You give them the information based on what they're interested in and yeah. walk them through holding their hands till they get to the point where they're like you and me, not like they don't have to be marketing it, but you and me, meaning we know it's real. It's not, it's no more hearsay or doubt. We know that this thing is real. Yeah. And for some science geeks, there's also scientific proof that oh, tons, tons, third, uh, third parties, and it's 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 just amazing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, I bet your wife Wendy is pretty happy right now. But she was <laughs> very happy when you when you tried to try another third third chances luck for for. You know, it, it really was the third time, and I'll tell you what turned her around because she was not happy. And I, I even know. though I was doing it part-time because that second one almost ruined us. I mean, it caused a lot of internal stress on our relationship too. And, and your from, dignity, professional dignity, staying behind something that then goes in shadows, right? Yeah, you put your you put your reputation yeah. on the line. So uh, I knew there were two things that, that was going to change her mind. One, seeing the money coming in, number one. Um. And not that she's just about money, but it had to be profitable. She believed in network marketing products, but did not believe in the business anymore, just just like I didn't. Right. But I had gone out and met the people that that you'll see in the video at gettingyoungerclub.com, the genesis of ASEA that says not for sale, why they didn't sell it to the farm. So I had met them. She hadn't. I said, I, I need to make money and I need, I need to get her around those people so she can feel what I felt. Mm -hmm. So I remember very vividly, the money was coming in and we qualified for a trip to Costa Rica. Wendy was like, and I still had my other job, right? And she was like, I'll go, but I don't want to talk to anybody. I just want to sit on the beach. I don't want to be here because her, her feeling about network marketing was the other company, which was just experience. broken yeah. mirrors. Right. Yeah. And so we go and, you know, when you check into these places in the Caribbean and, and down there and, Central America, whatever the, the, the big grand openings, you know, where you pull your car up and then the, the lobby's kind of open, right? It's not like a door, it's just all open. So I went in and we're at the front desk and they said, uh, Dr. Silverman, your room won't be ready for about 10 more minutes. Just, just, uh, just hang around here. have one of these little fruity cocktail things with the mm -hmm. umbrella in it. So Wendy and I get it and Wendy doesn't want to talk to anybody. And I look out through the lobby to the back and there was a big um, veranda and it looked like the pool was down below, right? The big giant pool, river pool. So I see Virtus standing there. Now Virtus Norton is the man who really started this. And and he, it, you'll, you'll see it in the Genesis video, getting out of club.com. But um, a, a big man, older, he's probably now 85 now. And um, I said, oh, there's Virtus. Let's, let me go introduce you to Virtus. So he was by himself. So Wendy and I walk out and Wendy's like, hi, nice to meet you. Yeah, right. like this. And, and they said, Dr. Silverman, your room is ready. So I went, I said, I'll be right back. I go to get the key. I come back and Wendy is hugging him. They're hugging. I mean, he's big. Wendy's small. He's just, just hugging. And I walked down. I was like, what, what, what happened? And then they pull apart. And they both have tears in their eyes, Wendy and him. And uh, and I uh, I hadn't seen Virtus cry since the time I met him the first time. And uh, I think she told him her trepidation about all of this. Yeah. 
and they kind of wiped off and they said, David, we'll, we'll, David and Wendy, we'll see you at the, at the welcome reception later this evening. Okay. So I said to Wendy, I said, what, what happened? And she's like, she's rubbing her eyes. I mean, I'm getting goosebumps now. She's rubbing her eyes and she said, you do this, you do this. And that's, yeah. That that's when that's when everything changed because I was making some money, but she wasn't happy about it. She's like, "This is reputation." This Constantly. then she's like, "I'm with you now. Let's do it." And and so life. She yeah, she's happy. It's that's funny. Uh, you said that because you mentioned crying at the first meeting and Utah crying at this moment, the breakthrough moment. I remember myself crying in front of computer when I first started going through all those testimonials. Yeah. And I was like, mind boggle. Mind I never cried in podiatry. I, I never, I never cried. I mean, I, I at conventions and meetings that we do, that the, the yeah. um company's international convention is in Texas this year in September. And and you know, I, I never felt this way. And so we talked about leaning the ladder against the wrong building. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the dream is to find a, a building you're a building you're gonna climb that gives you uh, plenty of money. And plenty of fulfillment and satisfaction, right? And um, I just feel blessed that that I, I I found it, and I'm I'm glad that you're a part of it. I'm glad you're sharing it. And and if there are people who who you pique their interest, they're like, I want to know more. I'm happy to help you with them too. Thank you. No, I totally appreciate it, and it's such a blessing to have you on my side in my team because david is very approachable and even though he's super crazy busy and have teams all over the world which is yeah. another sweet part of this that you can have a global business from your computer in your living room it's just yeah. it's well don't don't, yeah. don't don't make them think i'm too busy because i play golf every day well <laughs> that's part of your wellness routine right yeah yeah, yeah. I also so want to mention that before we move, before we, we say goodbyes, because I know you, you have tough schedule today. Um, you mentioned once uh, a while ago, book that I went on to purchase. And if anybody doubts any of what we said about pharma being interested in this technology, and if it was this good, everybody would know about it. Go ahead and read this book. Yeah. It's called... It's called Politics in Healing by Daniel Haley. It's the suppression and manipulation of American medicine. I was stunned when I read, and I read half of this. Yeah. And my mind was boggling. And I actually introduced a few people to this who were skeptical originally to ASEA. And uh, one of them was my neighbor who lost his wife to the uh, same cancer that I lost mm -hmm. my husband to. And and he started with Asia and then he stopped because he didn't feel anything right away, yep. even though yep. gel helped him. So he stayed on a gel. But funny thing, he came back to it on its own because he realized once he stopped how different he felt when he wasn't taking it. Mm -hmm. And I mentioned this book to him and he <laughs> bought it. And both of us love, uh, lost their spouses to there was no option in Western medic medicine to help them. And I'm not saying this this may have, but not knowing was really killing me that I kind of didn't know the option, didn't have the option available. Yeah. 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 Well, that book is, um, I'm glad you got it because when I read that 20 years ago, it made me realize when, when I saw that magnet stop the dog from limping in 1997, that's when everything changed for me because everybody laughs. They still laugh at magnets. Yeah. Although, although magnetic treatments approved for depression, the FDA approved it. And, but most people don't have any idea just about that. And I, that was what, 26 years ago for me already. Yeah. Yeah. That made me realize if, if I just witnessed a dog stop limping because I put a magnet on it and it's been limping for, for months and months and months, nobody can tell me it didn't work. But I also thought, Jesus, what else is out there that they're not telling that me? They don't know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And and that book, that book is about things that have been systematically destroyed, yes. buried, bastardized by the establishment. And it's it, it opens people's eyes up if they read it. I mean, yeah. you know, people like reading fiction. They should read that because that's a little more important than 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 a, some fairy tale princess. This is people's lives. 
and you have the ability to take control with some of the products that are in that book that that are talked about. Sometimes you got to go out of the out of the country to get it because the the forces are so strong here. Yeah. Um, but everybody's going to have their aha moment. Um, yeah. The the quickest way to have an aha moment with this technology is just do this on ten people that are hurting three times in five minutes on the area and watch what happens to nine of the 10 people on average, sometimes 20 out of 20, sometimes 30 out of 30. Yeah. And you realize, my God, maybe that's your, that could be a, that could be a person's first. Well, what else is out there? Right. For me, it was the magnet, but there's this, this is just so powerful. Yeah. And to speak like this is 26 years ago, you said, and I just read current testimonial of somebody who was diagnosed with grave issue in his body. He started with ASEA for six months. And six months later, he had to retested and that issue miraculously disappeared. Yeah, it's not and, miraculous, it's science. And said, yeah, and he asked the doctor, because the doctor was like, I have never seen anything like this. What are you doing? And he told him. And the doctor said, well, I have no idea what it is, but keep doing it because obviously it works. And he asked the doctor, what would you tell me if I told you six months ago that I was taking this? And the doctor admitted, I would be laughing you out of my office. <clears throat> yep. That's how open-minded we are. And it's 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 a shame because sometimes it doesn't get to the hands of people that really need it. I just recently spoke with a friend and the first thing he said, he told me, well, send me some science on it and I'll show it to my doctor. And I know how it's going to end. Yeah, I know. That's, that's, yeah, what you, do, you know, yeah. But you know what? I, I love educating doctors about this because doctors and nurses and healthcare providers and whether they're Reiki, whatever, whatever, they want to help people. Um, generally, the ones in the natural world are a little more open, but they're, they're a lot of times they're not as open as you, you'd think. Yes. Um, but I just say, God, for, for God's sakes, you know, you have nothing to lose. What if what if what I'm saying is true? What if this helps the body here when there are cells that are bad and it really is like rejuvenates the body on the inside and the outside? Can you what if that's true? Would that be a breakthrough? Well, sure, if it was true. Well, isn't it worth just just at least trying just the gel made from salt and water on 10 people who are hurting or 10 people who are sl have sleeping problems or breathing problems? That's more of a commitment, money commitment and time commitment. Mm -hmm. This thing is so darn easy that when someone says, no, I hate to say this, but I realize they're very small minded people. There's there. If something is so, if there's so much to gain by doing something so simple and nothing to lose and they don't do it, then they're, I look at them as being a little bit brainwashed and, 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 and they're, talking to someone else who has no who has never seen it if they talk to someone that had done it and like well it works do it just do it like okay i'll do it but they their other resources usually google or their brother-in-law who's a doctor or whatever and they say it's silly it's like hey you know what it's your body if you if, if you see as much to gain by knowing it's true it's worth at least doing that little test mm -hmm. to, to give you some kind of traction to say there's something here right yeah. Um, I, I, you know, I pity the people that don't, but one day they'll be on the product. If they live long enough, they'll be on the product within five. I, I don't know if with, between five with social media, what's happening, I would say within five years, everybody's going to know about this. So it's like, I, like, I, I help the people I can help the ones that don't want to learn. I'm like, okay, I'll, I'm here whenever you're ready. Yeah. Plus we have a skincare, we have a nutritional. Oh program. yeah. And so there's yeah, there's yeah, much there's more something to this. for everyone. Yeah. And yeah. I just I just got my clay mask and I'm so excited because I really feel the effects and it's pulling like crazy. You know, it's, it's funny that they, yeah. they, they again, we, there are other products, as you say, and yeah. they came out with this clay mask. They're coming out with a collagen as well. They've got cellular things focused on the mind. They got things focused on mood, energy, and they got skincare and they have nutrition. Right. Yeah. So it's all about the human cell, but the clay mask thing is interesting because I did it and I got it a little bit early and I loved it. And I just, I just, just forgot to use it or whatever. And the last week I woke up and I had this pimple on the side of my nose here. And, mm -hmm. and it was like, it was like, it was sore. It was a sore one. Sometimes the nose is sensitive. Right. Mm -hmm. And it was red and it was a little bit of white and you know, I know what happens. It's going to become a big white head and then you yeah. pop it and we're gross and whatever. 
So I was like, well, what the hell? Let me just try this, the mask because the mask has bentonite in it and redox. So I washed my face really, really well. And I put it on there a good amount, like instead of just one layer, like three or four layers. And then 10 minutes, you just wash it off. So I wash it off. And, and the next day I get up in the morning and I was like, well, how bad is it? And it was gone. I mean, it never became a whitehead. It never, it was just, it was just gone. And I'm like, you know, it's kind of, it's, it's, it's neat to validate the products. Yes, 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 it is fun. Yeah. Well, if there was one thing that you would like to say goodbye with to anybody who is still skeptical and maybe kind of a little curious now, but but would like to try it, what would you suggest they do first? I would say um, go to that gettingyoungerclub.com, watch the first or second video. Uh, one is, if you don't have any issues, investigate it for someone you love. That's what I did. I mean, don't, don't look, you, your loved one who's may have a problem, child, father, sister, brother, whatever, they're not here to see this. So maybe investigate it for them. Um, but, you know, it, it's going to come down to a leap of faith, right? Sometimes there's a big leap of faith. Sometimes there's a little leap of faith. This is a little leap of faith. It's like you do your investigation. I would say, get in touch with Vera. Say, I want more information because we have some Zooms that people can tie into and whatever you're, you watch that first video, tell Vera what you're interested in and we'll focus on that. And the leap of faith is this, ordering some product, right? And what's the leap of faith? It's as safe as water. You cannot be allergic to it, doesn't interfere with medications, and there's no toxicity. It's so safe, you can put it in a nebulizer. I have it in here, the liquid, and you can put it in your eye. You can breathe it in. You can do whatever you want with it. I'm not saying it's- it in my eyes. I yeah, I'm not gonna say it's gonna help eye issues because I'm not allowed to say that, but it, I'm just saying it's, what's the leap of faith, the risk? None. Can't hurt you, and there's a money back guarantee. And come to know it's real now, and, and Vera will give you realistic expectations on how to use this properly and realistic timeline expectations. Um, and then once you know it's real, you know, you'll feel you will feel so grateful to Vera for, for bringing this to you. Honestly, we all are so grateful to our friends that brought it to us. And if and if you want to make a difference in this world and you want to make some money, then get involved in the business. If not, just refer people to Vera. We don't. Yeah. Nothing against Amway, okay? Because Amway's got great products. It's been around for a long time, but we ain't Amway. We are not Amway. This is not like come to a business meeting, let's make money, get people to buy soap from you instead of the grocery store. That's not us. We have a breakthrough free humanity that's unique. No one has it. And we need help getting the word out. So you either can get in the game and help us and make some money and help a lot of people have fun, win trips, all that, or just refer people as a great gratitude to Vera. That's my recommendation. Yeah. Thank you so much, David. This was fabulous. And I really appreciate that you made time in your crazy, crazy day today. It's a crazy and day today, but one, I, I... One more benefit I want to mention from my side, I found an amazing group of people to be surrounded with and new friends. When I lost my husband, I was kind of working alone from home and it started growing on me. I needed people around me. And so I went to first meetings. I went to some, I went to convention in Las Vegas for the first time. And this year I was in Texas and I chose Texas because I have never been there. It was my first time. So I was like, let's go to Texas. And the people I met through ASEA, including you, of course, but Dr. Maureen, you know, everybody is fun, helping, generous people that are, genuine about this this is not about making ourselves rich this is about helping people to feel better and really do something impactful for the world like i felt it was my purpose to bring it to as many people as i can um, that's the way i feel and, I, and I, I i there's no way to convey that we have the company has three quote-unquote products one is the product one is the opportunity and the other is the culture yeah. And the culture is a pure culture of people doing something. And I'll tell you something. I always like being the first at something. Like when a new car comes, I just like, I like something different. I like, I don't like being part of the pack. I just, I just never did. I always like being different. And uh, to know about something as important as this. I mean, it, it, you can get your feelings hurt because a lot of people you love, you're trying to help them. And they're like, no, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank yeah. you. And it's like, you don't trust me. I, why would I? 
And so a lot of people it hurts their feelings. And it's like, I just, I just ended up getting a thick skin and saying, I'm going to help. I'm going to focus on the people who want to learn about this because those are the people that are going to create the ripple and the ones that don't, I'll, I'll always, I'll be pleasantly persistent. I'll love them, but I'm not going to push this on them. I, I, I you know, and the, the, the beautiful thing is one by one, my friends, if I'm with them and they say something hurts, I'm like, here, put this on three times in five minutes and tell me how you feel. And they all buy it. They at least buy the product. They're like, how do I get it? I want the product. They may not want to do the business. And that's okay. That's okay. I, I have a lot of really wealthy friends. It's like, that's okay. Can you be an advocate for me and maybe refer people to me? And they do. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, thanks for having me on, Vera. This was fabulous. Thank you so much. I, I hope every every everybody who listens to us possibly opened their mind a little bit and are trying to do something different that because I when you realize you are in charge of your own health, uh it's a powerful position to be in yep, because we exactly can influence right. with many things. Yep. Thank you so much, David. Right. Thanks. Thank you Bye, so Vera. much. <laughs>